jacket noun a piece of clothing worn on the upper body outside a shirt or blouse often waist length to thigh length verb to enclose or encase in a jacket or other covering ashamed verb to feel shame to be ashamed adjective feeling shame or guilt discharge noun pus or exudate other than blood from a wound or orifice usually due to infection or pathology verb to accomplish or complete as an obligation comfort noun contentment ease verb to relieve the distress or suffering of to provide comfort to greatly adverb to a great extent or degree below adverb in a lower place preposition lower in spatial position than devoid verb to empty out to remove adjective empty having none of completely without impressive adjective making or tending to make a positive impression having power to impress required verb to ask someone for something to request adjective necessary obligatory mandatory funny noun a joke adjective amusing humorous comical adverb in an unusual manner strangely dusk noun a period of time at the end of day when the sun is below the horizon but before the full onset of night especially the darker part of twilight verb to begin to lose light or whiteness to grow dusk adjective tending to darkness or blackness moderately dark or black dusky check noun a situation in which the king is directly threatened by an opposing piece sections noun a cutting a part cut out from the rest of something verb to cut divide or separate into pieces plaintiff noun a party bringing a suit in civil law against a defendant accusers hits noun a blow a punch a striking against the collision of one body against another the stroke that touches anything verb heading physical to strike porcelain noun the plant smilax china a liana of much of eastern asia noun a plant or flower of the repeat blooming chinese rose species rosa chinensis noun hibiscus rosa sinensis native to east asia noun chinaware porcelain tableware noun a small gastropod monetaria monita sin cyprea monita common in the indian ocean its shell noun a person other than a family member spouse or lover whose company one enjoys and towards whom one feels affection noun a fine clay rich in kaolinite used in ceramics paper making etc noun usually uncountable a hard white translucent ceramic originally made by firing kaolin quartz and feldspar at high temperatures but now also inclusive of similar artificial materials also often such a material as a symbol of the fragility elegance etc traditionally associated with porcelain goods noun small beads made from polished shells especially white ones formerly used as money and jewelry by certain native american peoples x noun the name of the latin script letter x normally adverb under normal conditions or circumstances usually most of the time fourth adverb forward in time place or degree preposition forth from out of filtering verb to sort sift or isolate noun the process of passing something through a filter disembark verb to remove from on board a vessel to put on shore sealing verb to line or finish a surface such as a wall with plaster stucco thin boards or similar noun the overhead closure of a room nervous adjective of sinews and tendons guilds noun 
A group or association mainly of tradespeople made up of merchants, craftspeople, or artisans for mutual aid, particularly in the Middle Ages. Park. Noun. An area of land set aside for environment preservation or recreation. Verb. To bring. Something such as a vehicle. To a halt or store in a specified place. Satisfaction. Noun. A fulfillment of a need or desire. Passport. Noun. An official document normally used for international journeys. Which proves the identity and nationality of the person for whom it was issued. Emigrated. Verb. To leave the country in which one lives. Especially one's native country. In order to reside elsewhere. Connotations. Noun. A meaning of a word or phrase that is suggested or implied. As opposed to a denotation. Or a literal meaning. A characteristic of words or phrases. Or of the contexts that words and phrases are used in. Preacher. Noun. Someone who preaches a worldview, philosophy or religion, especially someone who preaches the gospel. A clergyman. Rest. Noun. Of a person or animal. Relief from work or activity by sleeping. Sleep. Her. Noun. A female person or animal. Pronoun. The form of she used after a preposition or as the object of a verb. That woman. That ship. Etc. Served. Verb. Personal. To provide a service. Or, by extension, a product, especially food or drink. Connected. Verb. Of an object. To join. To another object. To attach. Or to be intended to attach or capable of attaching. To another object. Adjective. Usually with, well. Having favorable rapport with a powerful entity. Ostrich. Noun. A large flightless bird, Struthio camelus, native to Africa. Installment. Noun. One of a series of parts. Whether equal or unequal to the other parts of the series. Of a given entity or a given process. Which part presents or is presented at a particular scheduled interval. Her. Noun. A female person or animal. Pronoun. The form of she used after a preposition or as the object of a verb. That woman. That ship. Etc. Stadium. Noun. A venue where sporting events are held. Inspires. Verb. To infuse into the mind. To communicate to the spirit. To convey. As by a divine or supernatural influence. To disclose preternaturally. To produce in. As by inspiration. Plants. Noun. An organism that is not an animal. Especially an organism capable of photosynthesis. Typically a small or herbaceous organism of this kind. Rather than a tree. Verb. To place. A seed or plant. In soil or other substrate in order that it may live and grow. Moderator. Noun. Someone who moderates. Observations. Noun, the act of observing, and the fact of being observed. See observance. Repeated. Verb, to do or say again, and again. Adjective, having been said or done again. Darned. Verb, euphemism of dam. Verb, to repair by stitching with thread or yarn. Particularly by using a needle to construct a weave across a damaged area of fabric. Adjective, a minced oath for damned. Adverb. Degree. Damned. Extremely. Normal. Noun. A line or vector that is perpendicular to another line. Surface. Or plane. Adjective. According to norms or rules or to a regular pattern. Source. Noun. The person. Place or thing from which something. Information. Goods. Etc. Comes or is acquired. Verb. To obtain or procure. Used especially of a business resource. Mistakenly. Adverb. Wrongly. Erroneously. Fortnight. Noun. A period of two weeks. Call. Noun. A telephone conversation. Verb. Heading. To use one's voice. Fundraiser. Noun. An event undertaken to get money by voluntary contributions for a particular activity.
such as equipment for extracurricular sports programs, or to defray laboratory costs, salaries, for research of a cure for a particular disease, force, noun, strength or energy of body or mind, active power, vigor, might, capacity of exercising an influence or producing an effect, verb, to violate, a woman, to rape, noun, law enforcement, any police organization, a constabulary, hung, verb, to be or remain suspended, adjective, suspended by hanging, resigned, verb, to sign again, to provide one's signature again, verb, to give up, to relinquish ownership of, adjective, characterized by resignation or acceptance, desktop, noun, the top surface of a desk, adjective, designed for use on a desk or similar piece of furniture, did, verb, auxiliary, a syntactic marker, click, noun, a brief, sharp, not particularly loud, relatively high-pitched sound produced by the impact of something small and hard against something hard, such as by the operation of a switch, a lock or a latch, or a finger pressed against the thumb and then released to strike the hand. Verb. To cause to make a click. To operate. A switch. Etc. So that it makes a click. Interjection. The sound of a click. Coalition. Noun. A temporary group or union of organizations, usually formed for a particular advantage. Conviction. Noun. A firmly held belief. Policies. Noun. A principle of behavior. Conduct etc. Thought to be desirable or necessary. Especially as formally expressed by a government or other authoritative body. Verb. To regulate by laws. To reduce to order. Noun. A contract of insurance. Patient. Noun. A person or animal who receives treatment from a doctor or other medically educated person. Adjective. Of a person. Willing to wait if necessary. Not losing one's temper while waiting. Scenarios. Noun. An outline of the plot of a dramatic or literary work. Equally. Adverb. Manner. In an equal manner. In equal shares or proportion. With equal and impartial justice. Evenly. Rocket. Noun. A rocket engine. Verb. To accelerate swiftly and powerfully. Grooming. Verb. To attend to one's appearance and clothing. Noun. Care for one's personal appearance. Hygiene. And clothing. Spy. Noun. A person who secretly watches and examines the actions of other individuals or organizations and gathers information on them, usually to gain an advantage. Verb. To act as a spy. Completes. Noun. A completed survey. Verb. To finish. To make done. To reach the end. Improvement. Noun. The act of improving, advancement or growth, a bettering. Campus. Noun. The grounds or property of a school, college, university, business, church, or hospital. Often understood to include buildings and other structures. Verb. To confine to campus as a punishment. Positive. Noun. A thing capable of being affirmed. Something real or actual. Adjective. Not negative or neutral. Forgotten. Verb. To lose remembrance of. Noun. A person or thing that has been forgotten. Adjective. Of which knowledge has been lost. Which is no longer remembered. Catch up. Noun. An act of catching up or attempting to catch up. Verb. To pick up suddenly. Job. Noun. A task. Verb. To do odd jobs or occasional work for hire. Documentation. Noun. Something transposed from a thought to a document. The written account of an idea. Separate. Noun. Usually in the plural. Anything that is sold by itself. Especially an article of clothing. Verb. To divide. A thing. Into separate parts. Adjective. Apart from. The rest. Not connected to or attached to. Anything else. Plant. Noun. 
An organism that is not an animal. Especially an organism capable of photosynthesis. Typically a small or herbaceous organism of this kind. Rather than a tree. Verb. To place. A seed or plant. In soil or other substrate in order that it may live and grow. Non-existent. Adjective. Not existent. Not real. Cut out. Verb. To refrain from. Doing something. Using something etc. To stop. Cease. Doing something. Adjective. Well suited. Appropriate. Fit for a particular activity or purpose. Networking. Verb. To interact socially for the purpose of getting connections or personal advancement. Noun. The use of computer networks. Shops. Noun. An establishment that sells goods or services to the public. Originally only a physical location. But now a virtual establishment as well. Verb. To visit stores or shops to browse or explore merchandise. Especially with the intention of buying such merchandise. Contribute. Verb. To give something that is or becomes part of a larger whole. Library. Noun. An institution which holds books and or other forms of media for use by the public or qualified. People often lending them out. As well as providing various other services for its users. Policies. Noun. A principle of behavior. Conduct etc. Thought to be desirable or necessary. Especially as formally expressed by a government or other authoritative body. Verb. To regulate by laws. To reduce to order. Noun. A contract of insurance. Draper. Noun. One who sells cloths. A dealer in cloths. Allergic. Noun. A person with a tendency to having allergies. A person with multiple or severe allergies. Adjective. Of or pertaining to allergy. Colors. Noun. The spectral composition of visible light. Verb. To give something color. Soundly. Adverb. In a thorough manner. In manner free of defect or deficiency. Blink. Noun. The act of very quickly closing both eyes and opening them again. Verb. To close and reopen both eyes quickly. Harsh. Verb. To negatively criticize. Adjective. Unpleasantly rough to the touch or other senses. Statistician. Noun. A person who compiles, interprets, or studies statistics. Optimized. Verb. Originally intransitive. To act optimistically or as an optimist. Fair. Noun. Something which is fair. In various senses of the adjective. Verb. To smoothen or even a surface. Especially a connection or junction on a surface. Adjective. Beautiful. Of a pleasing appearance. With a pure and fresh quality. Adverb. Clearly. Openly. Frankly. Civilly. Honestly. Favorably. Auspiciously. Agreeably. Co-workers. Noun. Somebody with whom one works. Notifying. Verb. To give. Someone. Notice. Of some event. Itself. Pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. It. A thing as the object of a verb or preposition that also appears as the subject. Soccer. Noun. Association football. Verb. To kick the football directly off the ground. Without using one's hands. Digital. Noun. A digital option. Adjective. Having to do with digits. Fingers or toes. Performed with a finger. Advantage. Noun. Any condition. Circumstance. Opportunity or means. Particularly favorable to success. Or to any desired end. Verb. To provide. Someone. With an advantage. To give an edge to. Cancellations. Noun. The act. Process. Or result of cancelling. As. The cancellation of certain words in a contract. Or of the contract itself. Exceeds. Verb. To be larger. Greater than. Something. Sure. Noun. Land adjoining a non-flowing body of water. Such as an ocean. Lake or pond. Verb. To set on shore. Maniac. 
Noun, an insane person, especially one who suffers from a mania. Agreed. Verb, to harmonize in opinion, statement, or action. To be in unison or concord. To be or become united or consistent. To concur. Adjective. In harmony. Interjection. Indicates agreement on the part of the speaker. Charlotte. Noun. A dessert consisting of sponge cake filled with fruit and cream or custard. Imagined. Verb. To form a mental image of something. To envision or create something in one's mind. Adjective. Conceived or envisioned in the mind. Couple. Noun. Two partners in a romantic or sexual relationship. Verb. To join. Two things. Together. Or. One thing. Two. Another. Adjective. Two or. A. Small number of. Recurring. Verb. To have recourse. To. Someone or something for assistance. Support etc. Noun. A recurrence. A coming round again. Adjective. Happening or occurring frequently. With repetition. Correct. Adjective. Free from error. True. Accurate. Crucial. Adjective. Essential or decisive for determining the outcome or future of something. Extremely important. Below. Adverb. In a lower place. Preposition. Lower in spatial position than. Marketer. Noun. One who designs and executes marketing campaigns. Clown. Noun. A slapstick performance artist often associated with a circus and usually characterized by bright. Oversized clothing. A red nose. Face paint. And a brightly colored wig. Verb. To act in a silly or playful fashion. Profits. Noun. Total income or cash flow minus expenditures. The money or other benefit a non-governmental organization or individual receives in exchange for products and services sold at an advertised price. Verb. To benefit. Somebody. Be of use to. Somebody. Architects. Noun. A professional who designs buildings or other structures. Or who prepares plans and superintends construction. Verb. To design. Plan. Or orchestrate. Burden. Noun. A heavy load. Verb. To encumber with a literal or figurative burden. Listing. Verb. To create or recite a list. Verb. To listen. Verb. To be pleasing to. Verb. To cause. Something. To tilt to one side. Noun. The action of the verb to list. Adjective. As listed or shown on a listing. My. Interjection. Used to express surprise, shock or amazement. Freshly. Adverb. Recently. Newly. Skip. Noun. A leaping. Jumping or skipping movement. Verb. To move by hopping on alternate feet. Realtor. Noun. A person or business that sells or leases out real estate. Acting as an agent for the property owner. Hardest. Adjective, of material or fluid, having a severe property, presenting difficulty. Comparison. Noun, the act of comparing or the state or process of being compared. Marvel. Noun, that which causes wonder. A prodigy. A miracle. Verb, to become filled with wonderment or admiration. To be amazed at something. Convinced. Verb, to make someone believe or feel sure about something, especially by using logic, argument or evidence. Adjective. In a state of believing. Especially from evidence but not necessarily. Pet. Noun. An animal kept as a companion. Verb. To stroke or fondle. An animal. Adjective. Favorite. Cherished. The focus of ones. Usually positive. Attention. County. Noun. The land ruled by a count or a countess. Adjective. Characteristic of a county family. Representative of the gentry or aristocracy of a county. Mercenary. Noun. One motivated by gain, especially monetary. Adjective. Motivated by private gain. Importance. Noun. The quality or condition of being important or worthy of note. Peanut. Noun. 
a legume resembling a nut, the fruit of the plant Arachis hypogea. Verb. To pull on somebody's tie as a prank, causing the knot to tighten. Rich. Verb. To enrich. Adjective. Wealthy. Having a lot of money and possessions. Nose. Noun. A protuberance on the face housing the nostrils, which are used to breathe or smell. Verb. To move cautiously by advancing its front end. John. Noun. A prostitute's client. Searching. Verb. To look in. A place. For something. Noun. Search. Hunt. Adjective. Of an investigation. Etc. Thorough. Metro. Noun. An underground railway. Hero. Noun. Somebody who possesses great bravery and carries out extraordinary or noble deeds. Adenoids. Noun. One of two folds of lymphatic tissue covered by ciliated epithelium. They are found in the roof and posterior wall of the nasopharynx at the back of the throat behind the uvula. They may obstruct normal breathing and make speech difficult when swollen. A condition often called adenitis. Killed. Verb. To put to death. To extinguish the life of. Adjective. Of steel. Deoxidized. Financier. Noun. A person who, as a profession, profits from large financial transactions. Verb. To carry out financial transactions. To finance something. Beaches. Noun. The shore of a body of water. Especially when sandy or pebbly. Verb. To run aground on a beach. Noun. A gravel-filled zone on a racetrack. Used as a hazard. Exclusionary region. And. Safety device to slow down and trap vehicles. Acceptable. Adjective. Worthy. Decent. Sure of being accepted or received with at least moderate pleasure. Mercenary. Noun. One motivated by gain, especially monetary. Adjective. Motivated by private gain. Overdue. Adjective. Late. Especially, past a deadline or too late to fulfill a need. Society. Noun. A long-standing group of people sharing cultural aspects such as language. Dress. Norms of behavior and artistic forms. Backwards. Adjective. Oriented toward the back. Garden. Noun. An outdoor area containing one or more types of plants. Usually plants grown for food or ornamental purposes. Verb. To grow plants in a garden. To create or maintain a garden. Adjective. Common. Ordinary. Domesticated. Spawn. Verb. To produce or deposit. Eggs. In water. Estimated. Verb. To calculate roughly, often from imperfect data. Possession. Noun. Control or occupancy of something for which one does not necessarily have private property rights. Verb. To invest with property. Quakes. Noun. A trembling or shaking. Verb. To tremble or shake. Require. Verb. To ask. Someone. For something. To request. Run over. Verb. To exceed the allotted time. Cheeky. Adjective. Impudent. Impertinent. Impertinently bold. Often in a way that is regarded as endearing or amusing. Split. Noun. A crack or longitudinal fissure. Verb. Of something solid. To divide fully or partly along a more or less straight line. Adjective. Divided. Doc. Noun. A doctor. Slap. Noun. A blow. Especially one given with the open hand. Or with something broad and flat. Verb. To give a slap to. Adverb. Exactly. Precisely. Blow up. Verb. To explode or be destroyed by explosion. Anywhere. Adverb. In or at any location or an unknown location. Pronoun. Any location or an unknown location. Crowded. Verb. To press forward. To advance by pushing. Verb. To play on a crowd. To fiddle. Adjective. Containing too many of something. Teeming. Photographer. Noun. One who takes photographs, typically as an occupation. Dozen. Noun. A set of twelve. Load. Noun. A burden. 
A weight to be carried. Verb. To put a load on or in. A means of conveyance or a place of storage. Lack. Noun. A defect or failing. Moral or spiritual degeneracy. Verb. To be without. To need. To require. Incapable. Noun. One who is morally or mentally weak or inefficient. An imbecile. A simpleton. Adjective. Not capable. Of doing something. Unable. Kindergarten. Noun. An educational institution for young children. Usually between ages 4 and 6. Nursery school. Leader. Noun. Any person that leads or directs. Dictionary. Noun. A reference work with a list of words from one or more languages. Normally ordered alphabetically. Explaining each word's meaning. And sometimes containing information on its etymology. Pronunciation. Usage. Translations. And other data. Verb. To look up in a dictionary. Natural. Noun. A native inhabitant of a place. Country etc. Adjective. That exists and evolved within the confines of an ecosystem. Adverb. Naturally. In a natural manner. Pack. Noun. A bundle made up and prepared to be carried. Especially. A bundle to be carried on the back. But also a load for an animal. A bale. Lens. Noun. An object. Usually made of glass. That focuses or defocuses the light that passes through it. Verb. To film. Shoot. Spare. Noun. The act of sparing. Moderation. Restraint. Adjective. Scant. Not abundant or plentiful. Gives. Verb. Detransitive. To move. Shift. Provide something abstract or concrete to someone or something or somewhere. Information. Noun. That which resolves uncertainty. Anything that answers the question of, what a given entity is. Purchase. Noun. The acquisition of title to. Or property in. Anything for a price. Buying for money or its equivalent. Verb. To buy. Obtain by payment of a price in money or its equivalent. Smile. Noun. A facial expression comprised by flexing the muscles of both ends of one's mouth. Often showing the front teeth. Without vocalization. And in humans is a common involuntary or voluntary expression of happiness. Pleasure. Amusement or anxiety. Verb. To have. A smile. On one's face. Eggs. Noun. An approximately spherical or ellipsoidal body produced by birds. Reptiles. Insects and other animals. Housing the embryo during its development. Verb. To throw eggs at. Verb. To encourage. Insight. Characteristic. Noun. A distinguishing feature of a person or thing. Adjective. Being a distinguishing feature of a person or thing. Forwarded. Verb. To advance, promote. Competitors. Noun. A person or organization against whom one is competing. Secret. Noun. A piece of knowledge that is hidden and intended to be kept hidden. Verb. To make or keep secret. Adjective. Being or kept hidden. Nephew. Noun. A son of one's sibling. Brother-in-law. Or sister-in-law. Either a son of one's brother. Fraternal nephew. Or a son of one's sister. Sororal nephew. Filming. Verb. To record. Activity. Or a motion picture. On photographic film. Noun. The action of the verb to film. Department. Noun. A part, portion, or subdivision. Shy. Noun. An act of throwing. Verb. To avoid due to timidness or caution. Adjective. Easily frightened. Timid. Flying. Verb. To hit a flyball. To hit a flyball that is caught for an out. Compare ground. Verb. And line. Verb. Verb. To travel through the air. Another gas or a vacuum. Without being in contact with a grounded surface. Adjective. That flies or can fly. Composing. Verb. To make something by merging parts. Prepared. Verb. To make ready for a specific future purpose. To set up. To assemble or equip. Adjective. 
followed by the preposition to, disposed, willing, ready, to do something, cruise, noun, a sea or lake voyage, especially one taken for pleasure, verb, to sail about, especially for pleasure, on to, adjective, of a function, assuming each of the values in its codomain, having its range equal to its codomain, preposition, upon, on top of, 17, numeral, the cardinal number occurring after 16 and before 18, represented in Roman numerals as 17 and in Arabic numerals as 17. Debate, noun, an argument, or discussion, usually in an ordered or formal setting, often with more than two people, generally ending with a vote or other decision. Verb, to participate in a debate, to dispute, argue, especially in a public arena. Defective. Noun. A person or thing considered to be defective. Adjective. Having one or more defects. Skin. Noun. The outer protective layer of the body of any animal, including of a human. Verb. To injure the skin of. Noun. Someone with a shaved head. Express. Noun. A mode of transportation. Often a train. That travels quickly or directly. Adjective. Moving or operating quickly. As a train not making local stops. Lately. Adverb. Recently. Not long ago. Of late. Boss. Noun. A person who oversees and directs the work of others. A supervisor. Verb. To exercise authoritative control over. To tell. Someone. What to do. Often repeatedly. Adjective. Of excellent quality. First rate. Chain. Noun. A series of interconnected rings or links usually made of metal. Verb. To fasten something with a chain. Happiness. Noun. The emotion of being happy. Joy. Canister. Noun. A cylindrical or rectangular container usually of lightweight metal. Plastic. Or laminated pasteboard used for holding a dry product as tea, crackers, flour, matches, verb, to pack into a canister. Nowadays, adverb, at the present time, in the current era, reachable, noun, someone or something that can be reached, adjective, within easy reach, accessible, issue, noun, the action or an instance of flowing or coming out, an outflow, particularly, verb, to flow out, to proceed from, to come out or from, elderly, noun, an elderly person, adjective, old, having lived for relatively many years, cashier, verb, to dismiss, someone, especially military personnel, from service, died, verb, to stop living, to become dead, to undergo death, verb, to color with die, or as if with die, emotion, Noun. A person's internal state of being an involuntary physiological response to an object or a situation. Based on or tied to physical state and sensory data. Offer. Noun. A proposal that has been made. Process. Noun. A series of events which produce a result. The product. Verb. To perform a particular process on a thing. Cliff. Noun. A vertical or nearly vertical, rock face. Equivalent. Noun. Anything that is virtually equal to something else. Or has the same value. Force. Etc. Verb. To make equivalent to. To equal. Adjective. Similar or identical in value. Meaning or effect. Virtually equal. Rest. Noun. Of a person or animal. Relief from work or activity by sleeping. Sleep. Guilty. Noun. A plea by a defendant who does not contest a charge. Adjective. Responsible for a dishonest act. Historian. Noun. A writer of history. A chronicler. An analyst. Dry. Noun. The process by which something is dried. Verb. To lose moisture. Adjective. Free from or lacking moisture. Instrument. Noun. A device used to produce music.
Verb, to apply measuring devices. Oiling. Verb, to lubricate with oil. Noun, an application of oil. Hit. Noun. A blow. A punch. A striking against. The collision of one body against another. The stroke that touches anything. Verb. Heading. Physical. To strike. Adjective. Very successful. Hobby. Noun. An activity that one enjoys doing in one's spare time. Mute. Noun. A stopped consonant. A stop. Verb. To silence. To make quiet. Adjective. Not having the power of speech. Dumb. Marine. Noun. A soldier. Normally a member of a marine corps. Trained to serve on board or from a ship. Adjective. Belonging to or characteristic of the sea. Existing or found in the sea. Formed or produced by the sea. Namespaces. Noun. A conceptual space that groups classes. Identifiers. Etc. To avoid conflicts with items in unrelated code that have the same names. Fine. Noun. Fine champagne. French brandy. Verb. To make finer. Purer. Or cleaner. To purify or clarify. Adjective. Senses referring to subjective quality. Adverb. Expression of. Typically. Reluctant agreement. Purification. Noun. The act or process of purifying. The removal of impurities. Early. Noun. A shift. Scheduled work period. That takes place early in the day. Adjective. At a time in advance of the usual or expected event. Adverb. At a time before expected. Sooner than usual. Ancient. Noun. A person who is very old. Adjective. Having lasted from a remote period. Having been of long duration. Of great age. Very old. Mercy. Noun. Relenting. Forbearance to cause or allow harm to another. Verb. To feel mercy. Interjection. Expressing surprise or alarm. Bandages. Noun. A strip of gauze or similar material used to protect or support a wound or injury. Verb. To apply a bandage to something. Ever. Adjective. Occurring at any time. Occurring even but once during a time span. Adverb. Always. Frequently. Forever. Beekeeper. Noun. A person who maintains hives and keeps bees, especially for the production of honey. Setting. Verb. To put. Something. Down. To rest. Verb. To divide a class group in a subject according to ability. Noun. The time. Place and circumstance in which something. Such as a story or picture. Is set. Context. Scenario. Adjective. That disappears below the horizon. Billion. Noun. Modern British and Australian. Short scale. A thousand million. Logic. One thousand times one thousand to the power of two. One followed by nine zeros. One hundred nine. A milliard. Handshake. Noun. The grasping of hands by two people when greeting. Leave taking. Or making an agreement. Verb. To perform a handshake. To shake hands. Healthier. Adjective. Enjoying health and vigor of body, mind, or spirit. Well. Donkey. Noun. A domestic animal. Equus asinus asinus. Similar to a horse. Preformed. Verb. To shape something before some other operation. Adjective. Formed. Constructed or assembled in advance. Overused. Adjective. Used too much, or too often. Containers. Noun. Someone who contains. Something that contains. Blowing. Verb. To produce an air current. Verb. To blossom. To cause to bloom or blossom. Mortgage. Noun. A special form of secured loan where the purpose of the loan must be specified to the lender. To purchase assets that must be fixed. Not movable. Property. Such as a house or piece of farmland. The assets are registered as the legal property of the borrower but the lender can seize them and dispose of them if they are not satisfied with the manner in which the repayment of the loan is 
conducted by the borrower. Once the loan is fully repaid, the lender loses this right of seizure and the assets are then deemed to be unencumbered. Verb. To borrow against a property. To obtain a loan for another purpose by giving away the right of seizure to the lender over a fixed property such as a house or piece of land. To pledge a property in order to get a loan. Meant. Verb. To intend. Missed. Verb. To fail to hit. Cappuccino. Noun. An Italian coffee-based beverage made from espresso and milk that has been steamed and or frothed. Nowadays. Adverb. At the present time. In the current era. Pension. Noun. An annuity paid regularly as benefit due to a retired employee serviceman etc. In consideration of past services. Originally and chiefly by a government but also by various private pension schemes. Verb. To grant a pension to. Mindful. Adjective. Being aware. Of something. Attentive. Heedful. Blowing. Verb. To produce an air current. Verb. To blossom. To cause to bloom or blossom. Republican. Noun. Someone who favors a republic as a form of government. Adjective. Advocating or supporting a republic as a form of government. Advocating or supporting republicanism. Medal. Noun. A stamped metal disc used as a personal ornament. A charm. Or a religious object. Verb. To win a medal. South. Noun. One of the four major compass points. Specifically 180 degrees directed toward the South Pole, and conventionally downwards on a map, abbreviated as S. Verb. To turn or move toward the South. To veer toward the South. Adjective. Toward the South. Southward. Adverb. Toward the South. Southward. Noise. Noun. Various sounds, usually unwanted or unpleasant. Verb. To make a noise. To sound. Refund. Noun, an amount of money returned. Verb, to return. Money, to. Someone, to reimburse. Centrally. Adverb, location, in a central manner or situation. At, to, through or from the center. Shiny. Noun, anything shiny. A trinket. Adjective, reflecting light. Handful. Noun, the amount that a hand will grasp or contain. Stability. Noun, the condition of being stable or in equilibrium, and thus resistant to change. Possession. Noun, control or occupancy of something for which one does not necessarily have private property rights. Verb, to invest with property. Boards. Noun, a relatively long, wide and thin piece of any material. Usually wood or similar. Often for use in construction or furniture making. Noun. A rebound. Noun. With the. A stage. As in a theater. Roasted. Verb. To cook food by heating in an oven or over a fire without covering. Resulting in a crisp. Possibly even slightly charred appearance. Adjective. Cooked by roasting. Furniture. Noun. Large movable item. S. Usually in a room. Which enhance. S. The room's characteristics. Functionally or decoratively. Delayed. Verb. To put off until a later time. To defer. Verb. To dilute. Temper. Reliability. Noun. The quality of being reliable, dependable or trustworthy. Seeds. Noun. A fertilized and ripened ovule. Containing an embryonic plant. Verb. To plant or sow an area with seeds. Preschool. Noun. A nursery school. Verb. To provide nursery school education for. Adjective. Of or relating to the years of early childhood before attendance at primary school. B. Adjective. Having from birth. Or as if from birth. A certain quality or character. Innate. Inherited. License. Noun. A legal document giving official permission to do something. A permit. Verb. To give a formal. Usually written. Authorization. Epic. Noun. An extended narrative poem in elevated or dignified language.
celebrating the feats of a deity, demigod, heroic epic, other legend or traditional hero, adjective, of, or relating to, an epic, confess, verb, to admit to the truth, particularly in the context of sins or crimes committed. Extreme. Noun. The greatest or utmost point. Degree or condition. Adjective. Of a place. The most remote. Farthest or outermost. Adverb. Extremely. Him. Pronoun. Honorific alternative letter case form of him. Sometimes used when referring to God or another important figure who is understood from context. Noun. A male person. Pronoun. A masculine pronoun. He is a grammatical object. Decoding. Verb. To convert from an encrypted form to plain text. Noun. An instance of the translation of something into a form more suitable for subsequent processing. Eliminate. Verb. To completely remove, get rid of, put an end to. Mention. Noun. A speaking or notice of anything. Usually in a brief or cursory manner. Used especially in the phrase make mention of. Verb. To make a short reference to something. Financing. Verb. To conduct. Or procure money for. Financial operations. Manage finances. Noun. A transaction that provides funds for a business. Offering. Verb. To propose or express one's willingness. To do something. Noun. The act by which something is offered. Creature. Noun. A living being. An animal or, sometimes derogatory, a human. Ought. Noun. Property. Possession. Gestures. Noun. A motion of the limbs or body. Especially one made to emphasize speech. Verb. To make a gesture or gestures. Overall. Noun. A garment worn over other clothing to protect it. A coverall or boiler suit. A garment. For manual labor or for casual wear. Often made of a single piece of fabric. With long legs and a bib upper. Supported from the shoulders with straps and having several large pockets and loops for carrying tools. Adjective. All-encompassing. All-around. Adverb. Generally. With everything considered. Handler. Noun. One who handles something, especially manually, or someone. Actuary. Noun. Registrar. Clerk. Ish. Noun. Operations. An individual item. The least quantitative unit in a grouping. Adverb. For one. A piece. Per. Pronoun. Everyone. Everything. North. Noun. One of the four major compass points. Specifically zero degrees. Directed toward the North Pole. And conventionally upwards on a map. Abbreviated as N. Verb. To turn or move toward the North. Adjective. Of or pertaining to the North. Northern. Adverb. Toward the north. Northward. Northerly. Badly. Adjective. Ill. Unwell. Adverb. In a bad manner. Makes. Noun. Brand or kind. Model. Verb. To create. Noun. Mate. A spouse or companion. A match. Noun. A halfpenny. Noun. An agricultural tool resembling a scythe. Used to cut. Harvest. Certain plants such as peas, reeds, or tares. Pregnant. Noun. A pregnant person. Adjective. Carrying developing offspring within the body. Courgette. Noun. A particular variety of cucurbita pipo, a small marrow, squash. Faster. Adjective. Firmly or securely fixed in place. Stable. Adverb. In a firm or secure manner. Securely. In such a way as not to be moved. Safe. Sound. Guys. Noun. An effigy of a man burned on a bonfire on the anniversary of the gunpowder plot. The 5th of November. Verb. To exhibit an effigy of Guy Fox around the 5th of November. Noun. A guide. A leader or conductor. Verb. To equip with a support cable. Moments. Noun. A brief, unspecified amount of time. Door. Noun. 
a portal of entry into a building, room, or vehicle, consisting of a rigid plane movable on a hinge. Doors are frequently made of wood or metal, may have a handle to help open and close, a latch to hold the door closed and a lock that ensures the door cannot be opened without the key. Verb. To cause a collision by opening the door of a vehicle in front of an oncoming cyclist or pedestrian. Starving. Verb. To die. In later use especially to die slowly, waste away. Noun. Starvation. Seated. Verb. To put an object into a place where it will rest. To fix. To set firm. Adjective. Sitting. Motorway. Noun. Parts of Australia. A broad highway designed for high-speed traffic. Having restrictions on the vehicle types permitted and merging lanes instead of cross-traffic. In parts of the United States and other places called freeway. Implementing. Verb. To bring about. To put into practice. Airplane. Noun. A powered heavier-than-air aircraft with fixed wings. Verb. To fly in an aeroplane. Crisis. Noun. A crucial or decisive point or situation. A turning point. Configure. Verb. To set up or arrange something in such a way that it is ready for operation for a particular purpose. Or to someone's particular liking. Daddy. Noun. Usually childish. Father. Verb. To father. To sire. Hear. Verb. Stative. To perceive sounds through the ear. Clogged. Verb. To block or slow passage through. Often with, up. Adjective. Having an obstructed flow. Blocked. Id. Noun. The unconscious impulsive component of the personality in the Freudian psychoanalytic model. Ahead. Adverb. In or to the front. In advance. Onward.